This is Will Buchanan reporting for the Walk for Liberty. It's July 10th, 2008, day 88. That's a massive cloud that's covering most of the landscape in shadow. You can see the shadow line approaching. I'm pretty excited to be leaving on a little vacation today. On the way down to her family reunion, Brooke and I are going to be spending a couple days alone together. And after that, at the actual family reunion, although it won't be progress toward New Hampshire, I'll still walk about 10 miles a day to keep up my endurance. And that'll probably feel like a vacation to me as well. Since on recent days, if I only walk 8 or 10 miles, it feels like I'm taking a break or slacking compared to the 18 or so miles I've gotten to at my max. In thinking about this vacation we're about to voluntarily go on, it strikes me about how many lawmakers and governments think they know better than you about how much you should work. Either in terms of how many weeks of vacation you get to take per year, or in how many hours you work per week. I've heard that many European governments mandate that employers give employees a certain number of weeks of vacation per year. And in some, almost the entire country shuts down over certain periods in the summer. And I've spoken to some Europeans who chuckle to me that the U.S. government is backwards for not having similar protections for its citizens. And then, of course, many Western governments have laws mandating how many hours you're allowed to work maximum per week. I understand that those laws were probably good-intentionedly put into place to prevent companies from taking advantage of you, who they believe somehow have some kind of power over you, even though you voluntarily decide to go into work every day. And how is it that lawmakers feel that they know your situation better than you do, and think that they can decide how many hours you should work per week? Perhaps you'd like to work extra hours to save up for a special vacation, or so you can retire a bit early, but now you have to go out and get a second job so you can do that. Or maybe I need to work extra hours just to make ends meet, and now the government is preventing me from doing that. Oh yeah, that's right. In that case, the government will take care of me by giving me a welfare check. As I alluded to earlier, the free market will find ways to work around the government, such as taking on extra jobs but the government thereby causes an extra burden and productivity drain for individuals. Individuals voluntarily choose to work for a living. Why shouldn't they also be able to voluntarily choose how much to work for a living? I walked about 8.6 miles. Here are my GPS coordinates. This is Will Buchanan for blog.walkforliberty.com, signing off.